Azithromycin is an antibiotic medication used for the treatment of a number of bacterial infections. Hi, I'm your host from MedArchive, and in this video, I am going to share information about azithromycin, its uses, dosage, and side effect. So without further ado, let's get into MedArchive. Azithromycin is used to treat many different types of infections caused by bacteria, such as respiratory infections, skin infections, ear infections, eye infections, strep throat, pneumonia, traveler's diary, and sexually transmitted diseases. Azithromycin Zithromax is a macrolide antibiotic that was being investigated in clinical trials as a potential treatment for people with COVID-19 at the beginning of the COVID-19 pandemic. However, results of many clinical trials show that azithromycin did not improve patients' health when compared to standard COVID-19 treatments. The World Health Organization does not recommend azithromycin or other antibiotics to be used for COVID-19 in the Guideline Therapeutics and COVID-19 Living Guideline. Generic name of this drug is azithromycin, which comes under brand names as azacite azithromycin 3-day dose pack, azithromycin 5-day dose pack, Zithromax, Zithromax tri-pack, Zithromax Z-pack, and Z-max. Azithromycin dosage. Take azithromycin exactly as prescribed by your doctor. Follow all directions on your prescription label. Do not take this medicine in larger or smaller amounts or for longer than recommended. The dose and length of treatment may not be the same for every type of infection. You may take most forms of azithromycin with or without food. Take Z-Max extended release liquid, oral suspension on an empty stomach, at least one hour before or two hours after a meal. Azithromycin available dosage forms and strengths. Injection. Lyophilized powder for reconstitution. 500 vial. Tablet form are available in 250 and 500. Oral suspension 105 ml and 205 ml. Usual adult dose for pneumonia. Indicated for treatment of community acquired pneumonia due to chlamydophila pneumonia, hemophilus influenzae, mycoplasma pneumonia, or streptococcus pneumonia in patients appropriate for oral therapy. Immediate release. 500 mg orally as a single dose on day 1, followed by 250 mg orally once a day on days 2 to 5. Extended release, 2 g orally once as a single dose. Parentrol, 500 mg IV once a day as a single dose for at least 2 days, followed by 500 mg. Immediate release formulation orally to complete a 7 to 10 day course of therapy. Usual adult dose for pharyngitis or tonsillitis, or uncomplicated skin structure. Immediate release, 500 mg orally as a single dose on day 1, followed by 250 mg orally once a day on days 2 to 5. Maximum dose, 500 mg per day. Usual adult dose for sinusitis. Immediate release, 500 mg orally once a day for 3 days. Extended release, 2 g orally once as a single dose. Adult dose for acute bacterial exacerbations of chronic obstructive pulmonary disease. Indicated for treatment of acute bacterial exacerbations of chronic bronchitis due to hemophilus influenzae, Moraxella catarrhalis, or streptococcus pneumoniae, 500 mg a day for 3 days or, alternatively, 500 mg on first day, followed by 250 mg per day for 2-5 days. Adult dose for genital ulcer disease chancred and non-gonococcal or gonococcal urethritis and cervicitis. Immediate release, 1 g orally once. Alternatively, a 1 g oral dose given once a week for 3 weeks may be effective in the treatment. Adult dose for pelvic inflammatory disease, 500 mg IV once a day for 1 or 2 days, followed by 250 mg immediate release formulation orally once a day to complete a 7-day course of therapy. Usual pediatric dose for pneumonia, or sinusitis, 6 months and older. Immediate release, 10 mg per kg, maximum, 500 mg dose orally on day 1, followed by 5 mg per kg, 250 mg dose orally once a day on days 2 to 5. Extended release, patients less than 34 kg, 60 mg per kg, maximum dose, 2 g dose orally as a single dose. Patients 34 kg or greater, 
2G orally as a single dose, 16 years and older, parenteral, 500 mg IV once a day as a single dose for at least two days, followed by 500 mg, immediate release formulation orally to complete a 7 to 10 day course of therapy, usual pediatric dose for tonsillitis and pharyngitis, two years and older, immediate release, 12 mg per kg, maximum, 500 mg orally once a day for 5 days, usual pediatric dose for pelvic inflammatory disease, 16 years and older, parenteral, 500 mg IV once a day for 1 or 2 days, followed by 250 mg orally once a day to complete a 7-day course of therapy, usual pediatric dose for bacterial infection, immediate release, less than 1 month, 10 mg per kg IV every 24 hours, oral, 10 to 20 mg per kg orally every 24 hours, 1 month or older, mild to moderate infections, 5 to 12 mg per kg orally once a day, severe infections, 10 mg per kg IV once a day, usual pediatric dose for skin and structure infection, immediate release, patients greater than 45 kg, 500 mg orally on day 1, then 250 mg orally once a day on days 2 through 5. Patients less than 45 kg, 10 mg per kg orally on day 1, then 5 mg per kg orally once a day for 4 additional days. Azithromycin Side Effects Get emergency medical help if you have signs of an allergic reaction to azithromycin, hives, difficult breathing, swelling in your face or throat or a severe skin reaction, fever, sore throat, burning in your eyes, skin pain, red or purple skin rash that spreads and causes blistering and peeling. Seek medical treatment if you have a serious drug reaction that can affect many parts of your body. Symptoms may include skin rash, fever, swollen glands, flu-like symptoms, muscle aches, severe weakness, unusual bruising, or yellowing of your skin or eyes. This reaction may occur several weeks after you began using azithromycin. Call your doctor at once if you have severe stomach pain, diarrhea that is watery or bloody, fast or pounding heartbeats, fluttering in your chest, shortness of breath, and sudden dizziness or liver problems, nausea, upper stomach pain, itching, tired feeling, loss of appetite, dark urine, clay-colored stools, jaundice. Call your doctor right away if a baby taking azithromycin becomes irritable or vomits while eating or nursing. Older adults may be more likely to have side effects on heart rhythm, including a life-threatening fast heart rate. Common azithromycin side effects may include diarrhea, nausea, vomiting, stomach pain, or headache. Tell your doctor about all your current medicines and any you start or stop using especially digoxin or clarithromycin or a blood thinner warfarin, calmidin, jantobin. Azithromycin is also prescribed for diseases other than which are mentioned in this video. Complete list of diseases in which your doctor may prescribe azithromycin are mentioned in description of this video. Remember, keep this and all other medicines out of the reach of children, never share your medicines with others, and use azithromycin only for the indication prescribed. Always consult your healthcare provider to ensure the information shared in this video applies to your personal circumstances. MedArchive does not assume any responsibility for any aspect of healthcare administered with the aid of materials provided. The information contained herein is not intended to cover all possible uses, directions, precautions, warnings, drug interactions, allergic reactions, or adverse effects. If you have questions about the substances you are taking, check with your doctor, nurse, or pharmacist.